up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. I'm here with Jacob and Stuart. Oh, and today we're going to have some fun, all right? So, Tormac, don't be mad at us. Don't be mad at us. But people have been calling us out, and we're cutting aluminum, and that's what the machine is for, right? You can actually put this machine in your garage. You can make crazy parts, start a business. You can learn off the academy and just make it happen. Right? And it's all about cutting soft materials, and that's where this guy lives perfect. But I thought I had a piece of a uh, Hastelloy X with some nickel in it, right? And I thought we should just throw it in and just see if it can cut, right? <laughs> so do you think it's gonna cut? I think it will. We actually dropped the spindle belt into a lower gear. I think it may help a little bit, so we'll see. What do you think, Stuart? Is yeah. it gonna go? Is it gonna do it? I don't think it's gonna do it. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna it's Ye gonna, of little faith, right? We're gonna try. We're all gonna right, try. but here's here's the thing though. It's all about that depth of cut, and it's about tooling. Remember, I keep telling you guys, it's about tooling. So we have an awesome Harvey three end mill with the little chip splitters that breaks up the chips. So on this guy, we went to a smaller tool, therefore less pressure and horsepower needed. We're dropping down eight hundred thousandths in Z. We're going five thousandths radial, so it's a small radial cut, but because it's going eight hundred thousandths deep, and I got my surface foot up at two twenty-five, with a chip load of 0 0.0015, the feed is actually twenty inches a minute. Twenty inches a minute in hard materials is not to be laughed at. All right, especially on this guy. Right, so let's let's check it out. It's gonna be fun. At the end of the day, you gotta have some fun, right? It actually should go around about four times before it actually engages. It'll engage the corners only at the beginning. Oh, it touched it right there. So that's the whole point here is like, I actually programmed it with extra stock all the way around it because we're using an adaptive tool path. And it actually, come, if you say like, oh, I'm taking a 20,000 pass, it'll actually clip those edges. So you gotta be careful. So I actually added extra material just to take a few extra laps around because I didn't want to like hit that corner hard and it just be like, Burp. You scared, man? I'm just watching. Are you nervous? <laughs> just watching. Emergency stop or feed hole? Emergency stop or feed hole? Ooh, not oh. bad. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. Oh, there you go. Full cut. There you go. It's doing it. Yeah. Full cut right there. Chips popping off. And if you think about it, like a lot of people say like, oh, like that Tormac will not do it. It won't do it. Like it's this, it's that. If you understand speeds and feeds, if you understand pressure and, and how to maximize your rigidity in a machine that doesn't have a lot of power, right? You look at all the variables and then you get the right tool, right? This Harvey 3 is amazing. And it just has that free cutting ability. Now it's doing it, it's just cutting it. It's not even, you could probably even crank it up more. Let's go. Oh, you wanna do it? Like yeah. a little bit more? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Now we went to a 10,000th radio, so it's 800,000 down in Z. It's 10,000th radio, but remember, it's a 3 8 cutter, so 10,000th is legit, right? When you're cutting hard, aerospace grade type materials. So is it gonna work or is it gonna like stop? This is definitely the first time I've heard it in the low belt. It's a lot stronger. Great job, guys. Came back from lunch and they had changed the belt down. So, uh, Jacob. great move. Jacob, great move. Great <laughs> yeah. move. 
Get all the power we can get. <laughs> oh, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> My philosophy on this is like, instead of putting more pressure on it, let's keep the free cutting chips, right? Let's keep everything exactly the same. Just take a deeper cut, which will add more pressure, but because you're thinning out those chips, it's not gonna be as bad as if you were like up in your chip load. You know what I mean? So, but we will see. Oh, you ready? That's it. Oh, you can hear it. Oh, it sounds good. It seemed to be good. Oh. Oh man, oh man, it feels so good, right? It feels so good. So I just want to say like the part is looking absolutely beautiful right now. You know, because we're only going at 10,000 in and stepping up, it, it almost looks like a finished pass. Like the 3D contour going up just looks perfect. So now I can hear a little bit of like vibration. It's not because the tool's dulling. I want to be clear on that. It's because it's at the top of the cut now, right? So when we first started, we were like peripheral milling, right? And then the whole point in that, in tricordial, is dropping all the way down and using the entire flute length to actually engage the material, taking a smaller radial, but engaging it. And in that, the amount of pressure keeps the tool from vibrating. But as the tool, like if this hand was the material, as the tool comes up and it's only using the tip, and you have all this empty space, now it's starting to vibrate a little bit, right? Now it's starting to vibrate a little bit. And that's what you're hearing. But the tool's still amazing. We'll, we'll show you the tool when we're done. I was just asked if I was gonna call Stuart out for like thinking that it wasn't gonna work, but you know, I'm just saying, Stuart's used to get being wrong around me, so. Oh, oh I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but hey, you guys all know, I always lift these guys up. I have an amazing team. I love that I have young guys too. What are you, 25, 26? 26, yeah. 26, he's been machining since he was like 11 or 12? Yeah, 11. Crazy, programs everything. Programs five axis makes it happen. Now Jacob's like stepping up, programming five axis, the Tormac, 20. all of it. Yeah. So I joke around with the guys, but it's all love. We've got an amazing team. We, but we do surprise you with birthdays. Yeah, we don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> they surprised me. <laughs> Never been surprised like that in my history of my life. I was so upset right now. Fire marshal, like the fire marshal. <laughs> That'll be in another vlog. But that's family, right? That's what we do. Oh, we finished. Oh, dude, it looks beautiful. That's really good. Oh, man. And there you go. The tool looks absolutely beautiful. It just ran Hastelloy for one hour and 36 minutes, right? So like 96 minutes, and uh, it looks perfect. Like perfect, I can go all day. That's why we call it the zombie mill. So good, I mean, check out that part, it's amazing.